Hi everyone, my name is Krista and I will be talking about how to do sensor placement for Gaussian processes when the observations we make are integrals over unknown functions. This is joint work with my PhD supervisor Arthur Kwame and our collaborators at University of Helsinki and Altum Technologies. So, traditionally in Gaussian process regression, we observe values of a function at the specific points. And based on these observations, we can form an estimate of the function. In the top two pictures, on the left, we have observations from 36 different points. And on the right, we have formed an estimate of the function based on these observations. In our paper, the goal is to estimate this function based on observations that are integrals of it, computed along some known paths. As the closed form posterior inference for GPs holds also for observations corresponding to any linear operator of the function, such as the integral, solving the problem using GPs is fairly straightforward, though can sometimes be computationally expensive. The bottom picture shows nine sensors that form 36 lines between them, and the observations are the values of the integrals over these lines. On the right, we again have an estimate of the function based on these integral values. Line integral observations have already been applied in a couple of applications, more specifically with laser scanners, CT scans, and ultrasonic falling detection. And many more potential applications exist, including ultrasonic structural health monitoring. In most cases, the observations are collected by transmitting and receiving sensors. For practical inverse problem, a critical question is where to place these sensors, as individual sensors are often expensive and setting them up often requires manual work and can be time consuming. In applications such as the CT scan, for example, each additional measurement also increases the patient's radiation exposure. In practice, when designing the placement for sensors, we need to consider the types of sensors used the possible locations for sensors, and the area we want to map. As an example application here, we use ultrasonic falling detection in pipes. Here in the picture, we have one transmitter and one receiver marked with blue. On the left, these are drawn on the surface of the pipe, and on the right, we have the same setting where the pipe is flattened on the surface. Because of the pipe geometry, one pair of transmitter and receiver actually introduces multiple observations as we obtain an observation for each helical path along the surface. So in addition to the black first order paths in the picture, here we are showing the second order paths as gray. The goal is to locate the folding that is pictured here as an orange ellipse in the pipe. And we want to do it using as little sensors as possible. We focus on designing the sensor placements before making any measurements though some of the methods could be extended for sequential problems also. We give two alternative approaches to sensor placement. So geometric approaches ignore the TP and instead base the placement design on the concept of line arrangement. The idea is to find such a sensor set that the arrangement spans the whole area well. We can use black box optimization to optimize the fitness function that can be based on, for example, distances between vertices or edges. In this picture, the gray square is the area of interest and the sensors are placed on the black circle around it. Here we minimize the distance from vertices to any point in the area. And for five sensors, we unsurprisingly recover this regular polygon. For regular, regular shapes, we can thus often use existing configurations from the literature. In model-based approaches, then, we extend the standard methods for sensor placement with point observations. Here, the goal is to maximize some meaningful information content using greedy algorithms. In practice, this means that we either maximize the entropy, providing sensors that are most uncertain about each other, or the mutual information, where we search for sensors that are most informative about the unsensed locations. Now, the challenge is how to aggregate information provided by multiple observations. 
and we propose three alternatives. We can either use the minimum, mean, or maximum increase in the entropy introduced by the set of new observations. In this picture, we again show the same setting as on the previous slide, trying to map the gray square by placing sensors on a circle around it. Now we need to provide a discrete set of possible locations for sensors, and these are shown as black dots. The placement here is achieved using the mean summary, and the fifth sensor chosen is shown in maroon. The mean summary here requires that the newly induced lighter green uh, lines are informative on average, whereas the minimum summary would require that all of these newly induced lines are somewhat informative. And the maximum summary would require that at least one of the newly formed lines is informative. Here we are then showing the optimal placements for ultrasonic volume detection in pipes for six sensors using both model-based and geometric approaches. The purple circles at the bottom of the pipes represent the locations where we are allowed to place transmitters, whereas the green circles on top represent the locations where we can place receivers. We assume that each transmitter can be each transmitter signal can be recorded by all receivers, and we have included first and second order helical paths that are shown in gray. For the geometric approach, the rectangles represent the continuous areas where the transmitters and receivers can be placed. Using maximum entropy as the aggregate selects also sensors within the area, while others favor sensors at the border. On the right, we show the mean function estimation accuracy over six functions. For six sensors, the geometric algorithm can match the best model-based result. For more experiments and results with different settings and functions, have a look at the paper. So, in conclusion, in this paper, we provide the first comprehensive overview on how sensor locations can be optimized for different kinds of integral observations. We also show optimal sensor configurations for ultrasonic following detection. For more experiments on real data and more details about the actual physics of the application, you can see our paper published in the International Ultrasonic Symposium last year. In addition, in this paper, we have contributions for fast kernel evaluation with integral observations for quadratic kernels. If you are interested in my integral observations in general, you can also see our upcoming paper in the Machine Learning for Signal Processing Conference about non-conjugate inference with integral observations. For any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to contact me in the email shown here. Thank you for your time.